My name is Oriolana Parks, and I'm a junior at Omaha South. Yeah. And this poem is titled, Sutherland Springs. 26, not minutes. It wasn't 1126 when it all started, 5 to 72. Kindergarten just started learning my ABCs, one, two, threes, and sitting down because mama told me to. I'm getting older and my bones grow weaker, but my grandkids can't lose me just yet. Ages five to 72. 26 to a man from the Air Force. All they wanted to do was pray together to keep their heads up and sing. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah. But now they have to cry together, die together. Yes, 26 were dead, and among them, one woman with three kids and one more ready to say hello but had to say goodbye because ages 0 to 72 were lost, 26 dead. And it's still not labeled as a terrorist attack because a white man had a black gun and shot out with multiple bullets flying into the hearts of those who weren't worthy. She was just a baby. Lost a grandfather last week and now had to suddenly lose her life. How did all the guns in his car not raise a question? How did he get an AR-15 semi-automatic weapon? How did he get military gear? No question was raised as to how this man shot 46 people and is still labeled an American, not a terrorist. Red, white, and blue. A proud American who remembered to vote in 2014. So God bless America and the guns it wields and the blood it sheds, the cotton fields and the natives who had to bend themselves back over a border, the tribes lost because there is a new form of American. Sutherland, Las Vegas, Orlando, 322 more. God bless America and the pain it brings as the voices sing and cry out that this is what happened to Sutherland Springs. <laughs>